What's my thoughts on a higher power? Well, it was funny because I, uh, I came out of high school, I didn't give it a second thought. I just carried on with my life and, you know, I got into what I was getting into and, you know, doing, doing some drugs and some alcohol and, and some women and just kind of moving through life like that. And I remember, I remember when people would talk to me about God, I just hated it. I hated the fact that if you were religious, you can be religious, but don't talk to me about it. And if I knew you were religious, then I would totally avoid you and I didn't even want to talk to you. I didn't, I didn't care what you had to say. Even though these people seemed nice enough, I just thought something wasn't right with them. They seemed like they were lying or something, right? And I just stayed away from religious people, like at all costs, pretty much. So as I burn my life down and I come into my own recovery program and we start reading into this book and I remember sitting in my first meeting going, uh, I don't know, this God thing. I had nowhere to go. I had to stick around and I had to do what I was supposed to do. So I stayed in and I remember thinking to myself, what a load of garbage. What a load of shit. And then I was thinking, how is this book even going to get me sober? How is this even going to work? My attitude towards God when I came into the program was, it was bad. I, I had wanted nothing to do with God. Desperation will do a lot of things to a man. And, and a huge part of that was my sponsor, when I heard his story, he was just like me. And he shared in his story that he didn't like God. He shared in his story that he burned his life down to the ground. He shared in his story that he wouldn't do any work in the program and that he was finally beaten into a state of reasonableness. So because of my sponsor and his story and what he kept reiterating to me about his life and how this worked, it kind of kept me hooked. And I believed in him and I believed that he believed and I believed something about him. So I just did what he did. I started changing. And I remember the very first time God ever worked in my life. I remember it was about two months into my recovery and the house was still ours when the flood had happened and we were getting an insurance payment of $47,000. And because I had lost all the money, I was really waiting for this $47,000 check to come in. The check was in both my wife and my name and I had to sign the check. So I signed the check and she went into the bank and I asked her, for two weeks to just give me $9,000 of this check so I could get my truck out of the Dodge dealership and get it registered and insured. And she comes out of the bank with the money and gives me an envelope and there's only $5,000 in there. And I was so mad at her and she had my two little girls and our other daughter who's a little older, all three of them were with her. And I was so angry and I was an angry man back then and she was so scared, she ran back into the bank with the kids and I was really scared that the cops were going to come and I didn't know what to do, but I knew I wanted the other $4,000, but she wasn't giving it to me. Bill, just pray. Did you pray for her? And I'm like, I ain't praying for her. He's like, that's what you got to do. You got to pray for her. And I'm like, fuck man, that's all you got? So I hang up with my sponsor. I call my dad. My dad's also in the program. He's like, oh son, that's really too bad. Did you pray for her? Are you praying for her? And I'm just like, oh God, is that all you guys got? And, but I didn't have another choice. So I hang up from my dad and I go back to my trailer and then I'm, I'm praying for her. And I thought it was the most ridiculous thing ever. I was looking for a tangible solution to my problem, not praying for my ex-wife who just fucked me over for $4,000. And I prayed for her. And I prayed for her and I prayed and I just kept praying and, and then, I think it was like two or three days later, I remember I woke up in that trailer and I had like a huge feeling like I didn't, I wasn't mad at her. And then I remember in that moment I was like, holy shit, that prayer thing is working. And that was the first time I ever started believing in God. Understanding that I wasn't mad at her and I'd actually kind of forgiven her. Like that's not my life. That's not me. Of myself, that is not me. And that happened. And then from that day, I started 
kind of believing in God, kind of. And I started praying and kind of following the ritual of, of praying. And then from that point on, my, my faith in God has just rocketed. A lot of people ask me, well, what does the program give you? What does the program do for you? And it's funny now, I said, dude, the only way I can explain it is it launches you into the fourth dimension of existence. A line that I used to balk at and make fun of is the only way I can explain what actually has happened in my life. And uh, that's pretty cool.